Victor Ricardo Perez, a spokesperson for the UN Children's Agency, UNICEF. Thank you so much for your time, Ricardo. Uh, according to UN numbers, before uh, these people started to flee Rafa in the past seven days, there were about 600,000 children in that southern Gazan city. Do you have teams there working with those children? Thanks for having me. Yes, we do. UNICEF uh, remains on the ground and will continue to be on the ground doing our utmost to try and support hundreds of thousands of children who are now being displaced again after being promised that they would reach safety in Rafa. And uh, the reality on the ground is very different as, as we've seen. And the images are there. They're very shocking. They're heartbreaking. Uh, people are despaired. They can no longer move around or be moved around or forced to evacuate. They've seen too much, lost too much. And children are desperate. Indeed, they have no safe place to go. And the bombs keep dropping. The promises of peace keep moving farther away. And, um, you know, aid is being blocked. What else to say? We're running out of words to really describe the horror these children are enduring uh, for so many months now. Yeah, everybody is, Ricardo. What does UNICEF know about children who have been separated from their parents or children who have lost both their parents, those who simply don't have that attachment with the person who's supposed to keep them safe? Well, we know the numbers are very high. The latest we have is 17,000 children who've been either separated or lost one of their parents or been orphaned. Um, but obviously, because of the continuation of hostilities and the difficulty in monitor, uh, so many children who've been separated or might be still stuck under uh, stuck under the rubble, it's, it's, it's very hard for us to have an exact number, but we can say that we expect these numbers to be much higher and we're trying to support them with protection services. But for, for now, even for humanitarian workers on the ground, it's extremely unsafe to operate. And our humanitarian operations, in fact, are hanging by a thread. We are about to collapse. Do any Palestinians uh, take refuge in UNICEF facilities like they do in UNRWA facilities in the enclave? No, not for the time being. Also because uh, UNICEF has only small offices uh, across the Gaza, the Gaza Strip. In fact, our main operating hub is in Rafa at the moment. And obviously, as escalations continue, we are reconsidering whether we will be able to safely operate from Rafa. It doesn't look like it's the case. We're starting to uh, move some of our staff to other areas more central in the so-called humanitarian zones. But noting that these areas are also not safe, not only safe from bombardment and artillery, but also lacking infrastructure, uh, water and hygiene and sanitation infrastructure that keeps disease uh, afar. And for the time being, uh, this is the situation, but we're expecting it to worsen uh, in the coming days. Briefly, if you don't mind, Ricardo, what's the future for Gaza's children in terms of the level of destruction? What does that mean for them reclaiming their childhoods, being able to go back into education just to be children? That's a very good question. We've been saying this from the beginning. This is a war on children, but it's a war not only on their present, on their current existence, on their safety right now, but also a war on their future. Because as it stands, 90% of schools have been either destroyed or partially destroyed. There are no universities standing, uh, universities, uh, standing anymore in the Gaza Strip. So what, what are these children going to look after? What, what is they're planning for the future. And we speak to parents on the ground and what they say is, I don't see any positive option for my children today and tomorrow. And that's again, heartbreaking. And we don't know what to do. We really need a ceasefire before we can start assessing what's really going to be uh, these children's futures. Ricardo, as I said, thank you very, very much indeed. We know how busy you must be. Thank you so much. Ricardo Perez from UNICEF.